In yesterday's video, we had an animal escape. Oh my, I had no idea you were back here. And there was a bunch of plastic tubs that she was actually like lodged under. Hello, Mr. Koi. Oh, oh guys, look at all the Koi. This thing is massive. <gasps> look at her, she's looking at it. She's like, what the heck is this? Oh my goodness, guys, look, Shelly's going in the new enclosure. What is up, Raw fam? Welcome back to the most epic, crazy channel on YouTube. I'm Franklin, and this is Raw Fishing. In today's video, we have something that could have gone really, really bad. Now, if you guys look over here, this is actually one of my sheds, but in yesterday's video, we had an animal escape. <laughs> Shelly, what are you doing here, girl? Oh my god, how did she get stuck back here, bro? Bro, she's literally trapped back here. Hi, baby. How you doing, girl? Oh my, I had no idea you were back here. No, please don't get stuck even more. She was completely trapped underneath the shed, and the reason why she went there is because, you know, tortoises, they don't really like the wind. Now, when it's really cold outside and it's really windy, the, you know, the tortoises need a place to go to get out of the wind. That's the most important thing. Now, luckily that we found Shelly, she didn't go very far. She actually went under there, and there was a bunch of plastic tubs that she was actually, like, lodged under, and it literally was kind of funny because she literally put herself underneath the tub. It was literally a huge freak out the day before. I literally had to call all my friends, and we had to literally search for her for hours because somehow she's getting out of this enclosure right here. If you look over there, I started to build an enclosure, and then a buddy of mine was like, yo, just stop there's something super easy efficient that you can buy and and it's at Home Depot so that's what we did earlier this morning we went over to Home Depot and we picked that up let's go check on my animals right before that they're actually in here we actually locked them up overnight cuz guys remember these guys are vicious animals beware of tortoise <laughs> they're not that vicious oh hi babies look at them hi we have a little beautiful baby buddy right there and then, oh, hello, Shelly. Hi. You're so big. So, of course, Raw fam, we are going to leave all of the tortoises inside of their little enclosure until we set up their new home. And, guys, it's going to be awesome. So, let me show you guys what we got. Oh, here we go. This thing is massive. This is a giant beautiful plastic shed. It's five foot by three foot. It's perfect so Shelly could go in there. I'm gonna grab this thing, throw it on my shoulders, and we're gonna take it over there. It's gonna be dope. So, you guys ready? There we go. Let's go, baby boys. Whoop! There we go. I'd watch out, Rolf him. All right. All right, Raw fam, so this is our dream enclosure. This is exactly what you want for a tortoise enclosure. It's gonna be beautiful, it's gonna be nice and warm because the sun is gonna get absorbed by that plastic. This is the perfect enclosure for these beautiful Abdabra tortoises. They are endangered, so we need to make sure that uh, we don't have any more dying around here. So I've never had any die in the first place, just, just throwing that out there. We're gonna lift this bad boy up. You Ready? Uh, are you listening? <laughs> Damn. Uh. Yeah. That's the Ooh. first step. We got to get it over here. And then we're going to set it up in that corner. And then all of the tortoises are going to be over here. And they're going to be able to walk in their little hut all year long. Let's start setting it up. So we're actually just opening up this enclosure. This isn't actually an enclosure. What this is is like something to store like outside furniture, maybe your trash can, stuff like that. All this is is a five foot by three foot enclosure and then I'm gonna convert it into a tortoise enclosure. So of course this enclosure does not look that hard to set up. If you guys look right here, these are the side panels that we're going to go off and put into these other components. They do have a bunch of um, stuff right here that is taped. On oh, this is literally just a cardboard box. There's nothing in here. That's just a hard piece of cardboard. All right, so we're just gonna keep opening this bad boy up. Look what we gotta work with. Hey! <laughs> so it's literally just as simple as taking these components out and then literally just like putting them in place. That's literally it. All right, so that's one wall. Put that bad boy right there. All right. All right, this is the roof. Oh, look at this, Rolf fam. So we finally found the instructions. So if you guys look right here, this is actually what it's gonna look like. That's the roof. Oh, and then those are the doors right there. Um, I don't think we need that. 
this is actually the bottom. I hope we don't need this thing level, but. Ugh. All right, there we go. We are officially done unboxing this thing. It's time to set her up. Bro, I think it looks so good. So raw, fam. You guys tell me in the comment section below, does this enclosure being right there in the corner, does it look good? Does it look bad? You guys gotta let me know. And I think it's gonna be really easy to set this enclosure up. So, without further ado, let's do it. <laughs> All right, uh, we gotta start with these. So, I believe these are the doors. Fam, so it's time to put the roof on. You ready? Just like this. I'm gonna pop this one in place. Come on. There we go. When we go inside of here, all we're gonna have to do is just a couple more nicks, crannies, couple bolts. But eventually, we're gonna be able to go like this. We got to do a couple more bolts right now. A couple more screws. Uh, I'm gonna get in there, do those, and then we're gonna be bringing my beautiful tortoises over here. Beautiful. Now, these hinges are now set in stone. Now, whenever we want, if you guys look, we're gonna zoom out right here. Boom. That's the roof of the enclosure. It's gonna sit just like this. This door will be shut just like that. There's gonna be a little flap right here. If we could close this door right here if it gets too cold. We could open it if it gets too hot. We're going to open up this little flap. All this is, is like a little mat that you'd put a desk on, okay? What I'm gonna do, bada boom, bada boom, bada boom, boom, boom. We're gonna cut it, cut, cut, cut. Now, we're going to be able to preserve a lot of the heat inside during the winter. All right, well, fam, so we're just gonna drill in right here. Just like that. Guys, if you guys are enjoying the video, leave a like and leave a comment down whether or not you guys think beautiful little seashell, aka Shelly, is gonna like her new enclosure. Cause I definitely think she's gonna. Cool. And the cool part about all this, Rolf fam, is that none of this stuff was supposed to be for animals. If we look over at this enclosure, guys, this is literally meant for trash cans. You're supposed to be able to pick this up, wheel your trash can in there, so raccoons, bears, who knows, can't get in. If you look over here, you could even lock this little enclosure up if you had a lock, if that's what you wanted to do, but that's not what I want to do. Look at that. Look at look how cool this is, Rolf, man. So of course, whenever Shelly wants to go in here and go in her enclosure. Hey, hey, who the heck's outside? Oh, oh, it's Enzo. Hey, what's up, Rolf, fam? Hey, oh, okay, I'll, uh, I'm gonna be in here, I'm gonna take a nap. I'll, I'll be right back. All right, Rolf fam, so as you guys know, today we have been building that beautiful Aldabra enclosure. It is officially ready. There is a lot of wind, it is a little cold. Believe it or not, the Aldabras love the cold, but I think more importantly is that they have an actual uh, sustainable, not, not sustainable, but they have something grounded. That's their home. If they get cold, they walk in there. It'll be important for stress, it'll be important for a lot of reasons, but most importantly, we gotta get them out of this shed because I think this is stress related. So, as you can see, I mean, if you come here, I do not think, I, I'll, I'll let the camera focus a little, I do not think they're stressed out. They're all in their little, they're, they're just cuddled up, they're just chilling. Hi babies, hi. All right, you're walking that way, go Enzo. Let's go. Hi. All right guys, so we're putting the babies inside their pen. Welcome. <laughs> Enzo, you wanna pull one out for me? Absolutely. Come on right. babies. Hi babies, oh my goodness, so. This, yet again, I said it before, this is the world's second largest tortoise breed. The first is the beautiful Galops, but these are the beautiful Aldabras. Hi, baby. You good? Oh, uh -oh. oh you can put her down. Cute pie. All right, put her, put her next to the enclosure. See if they want to walk in. Go on, baby. Go on. <gasps> Look at her. She's looking at it. She's like, what the heck is this? Go on. Go babies. <gasps> guys, look, they're going right in. Go babies. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, if the babies like it and they go in, the literally the first turtle. All right, guys, let's see what the other ones think. I have a funny feeling that we're not going to be seeing much of all these guys. 
feel like they're gonna disappear. I'm gonna put them right there, and if they want to go in, they can go in. If not, they don't have to. All right, it's okay, baby. It's okay. You can put them down right there. See what she wants to do. Oh my God. Oh, she's going right for it. Oh, wow. Get me in. I'll help you out. There you go. <laughs> hey, watch this. Ready? Hey, where, where are you going? Where are you going? <laughs> See them all in there? Look at them, guys. Wow. That is so beautiful. These guys are loving it. Wow. Now, guys, this enclosure is also new, but this enclosure is the newest. They have no idea. They've never been inside of this enclosure. This is actually Shelly's enclosure, but I think we are going to merge the two and um, because Shelly just wants to go over there and lay with them anyway. Um, usually whenever I have it, sometimes she'll be able to get over the top and then she'll just sit there and look at all of the babies. She'll be like, hello, I love ya. She's gonna do it anyway, so I might as well merge all of them together and start uh, making them become a part of each other. So, as you guys can see, very beautiful. Is there anybody in there? I think I see someone just chilling. Um, hello. Knock, 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 knock. Hello, is anybody in here? <gasps> And now, Raw Fam, it's officially time to go get Shelly. Guys, wish me luck. I hope she loves it. All right, let's go, Seashell. There we go. All right, we're bringing her over. Look at her, guys. She is beautiful. All right, I'm gonna bring Shelly over there, too. Ooh. Shelly, you like the new enclosure? She's looking at it. She's like, this is my enclosure. What the heck is this thing? Is that now that I have this enclosure actually set up, I'm not going to have to ever pick Shelly up and bring her into the shed ever again. It does mess with her a little bit. Makes her very spooked out, but now we don't have to, okay? She was never that big. She got very big very quickly. The cold weather this year came very quick. It's literally some days It'll be 85 degrees outside, and then literally that night, it'll drop to the 40s. And it's like, bro, where did that come from? Literally, boom, it's cold. And it happens like that in Florida. Shelly, this is a home, baby. Look, it's a home, you could go inside. You wanna go inside? Look, oh, she's like, no way. Look how much space she has. She's gonna love, look, look, she's already going. She's already going. She's like, bro, get me away from this crazy YouTube kid. I'm out of here. I love you all, fam. <laughs> oh my goodness, guys, look, Shelly's going in the new enclosure. Wow, look at her, bro, she's doing so good. All right, Shelly, I love you, girl, bye. <laughs> so, of course, Raw fam, Shelly is in her enclosure. She's loving life, and there's really not much else to say about it. Raw fam, if you guys enjoyed today's awesome, crazy adventure, leave a like. Leave a comment. Guys, we have the beautiful little babies. They're all just chilling here. They're living life over here at the Raw Fam. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna grab a light for these guys. We're gonna feed a couple koi fish and we're gonna wrap this video up. I'm coming in. Look at her, come here, come here. You can go right down and just walk right in. Hi, Shelly. <laughs> I love this little tortoise. All right, I'm gonna go like this. Gonna go like that. Gonna close that bad boy up. Now, as you guys can see, this is the plug. And then we could literally just hang something right here and plug all the lights, all the accessories, anything we need. So Shelly will be living her best life. Hey guys, you guys doing good? <gasps> Look, they're already eating. Oh, they're eating. They know it's gonna be cold tonight. So we have a little bit of water. We're gonna get them a bigger, we're gonna get them a little bigger water bowl and then they have a little bit of this Missouri tortoise chow just chilling there. They have a couple little sweet spots they could go to, but for the most part, that enclosure right over there is where they are going to be living their best life. It's totally fun, but speaking of living their best life, I think my koi love when I feed them. Hello, everyone. Are you guys happy? All right, guys, we're gonna grab a little bit of koi food. Hi, everyone. Hi, Mr. Koi. Hello, Mr. Koi. Oh, oh, guys, look at all the koi. Oh my. Oh my God, guys, they're so cute. Dookie, hi. Hi, I love you. Bye. 
Guys, should the Raw fam subscribe? If you guys like Duke, you guys like the Koi, and you guys like today's awesome, crazy adventure making a beautiful tortoise enclosure, leave a like. Make sure you guys subscribe with all post notifications on, and I think it's about time to wrap this video up. I love your all fam. We'll see you later. Peace.